Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to welcome to Archbishop Prince Mike Johnson show. The Antony General of Africa, the Archbishop of Africa, and the Emperor of Africa, right here on CNN African Business Title in America, in Holland, in Switzerland, in France, all over the world, talking about how God will be put in our system, and our system will become supernatural. We need to confront truth with democracy. Truth with democracy. They should not be insulted in Nigeria or banditry. That bandit is supposed to be killed. And that insurgent indicted. Killing is a crime. We should not be killing in any part of Africa. There must be peace. That is why I'm coming in now to become the emperor of Africa to help to build the true man and the real man role I'm playing now from this Netflix new movie. We need to confront the truth with democracy, freedom, with political, rational devotions political freedom and honesty recognition encourage balance of outstanding approval era of intelligence we need to use intelligence in what we are doing intelligence connectivity and reshaping the future of our digital experience intelligence connectivity and reshaping the future of our digital experience, our industry and our world. We need strong institutions and strong leaders. We need strong institutions and strong leaders to build up a good country that is content of character, protecting the vital quality of our nation. Our nation must achieve massive success in principles and democracy, which is a privilege into unique reality. Because it's just like we did not go to school anymore. We are educated, we know what to do, we need to build our country and make sure corruption is killed. Arm robber, killed. Insurgent, killed. Killing is a crime. We should not be killing in Africa as if killing is normal. Killing is a crime. That's why I'm right here in Holland, in England, in America now, doing my Oscar winning movie. Prince Mike Johnson as the Emperor of Africa, the Antony General of Africa, the Archbishop of Africa. Matters of principles. Our country is a criminal justice system. Our country is a world trade center. Our country is a criminal uh, uh, intelligence system. Our country is a educational system. Our country is the best place in the world. And our country is the best place where we need to build up our life. That's why our country is a, a great place and a special place. Our nation must achieve massive success in principles democracy, which is a privilege into a unique reality, matters of principles and business models, border control immigration, border control immigration and biometrics, that's what we need to give our people, that's what I want to help as the emperor of Africa in this my movie now, so that every African country will become a global nation, yes we can, we can do it, and the island becoming nation. Matters of principles, matters of principles, matters of principles and business model increase engagement with our nations into giant, big data success of experimented algorithms. That's what China is doing. Big data, big success, advanced nation, advanced people. We are advanced. We need to make sure we make sure we are advanced and make sure every African country is advanced. There's 54 countries in Africa. That, those 54 countries must be advanced. We deserve to be advanced. We don't need the white man to advance us. We are already advanced. We need to advance ourselves. What are we doing in Africa now? We are our biggest ally. China is nothing, including Europe. Europe is nothing now. They didn't give us nothing. We must build our country ourselves. Into matters of principles and business models, increase engagement with our nations into giant success of experimented algorithms. Minister of Science and Technology, Minister of Trade, you must know the meaning of biometrics and algorithms. Democracy depends on shared facts and values. It depends on deliberation and the rule of law, innovation and massive commitment. 
to build up a nation, we need budget, we need massive commitment, we need equity, and we need shared value. Shared value. Building together. Yes, we can. Not yes, I can, but yes, we can. We can do it. To build up a country, it's a shared value. value. So it depends on deliberation of the rule of law, innovation, and massive social commitment, language, skills, cultural sensitivity into a platform of transparency barriers where we live together with peace, no matter the language we are, we must live with peace. We owe peace the restitution to live with, with, in peace. We owe peace the resolution to live in peace. We must live in peace. Into language skills and cultural sensitivity, into a platform of transparent barriers, transparent financial statement for nation building. Our economies must be relative to today's standard. Into the, our economies must relate to today's standard. Advanced country we are building, advanced nation, into today's standard. Into democracy and economics. We must have our own design choice and innovation and technology, human driven technology, and alternative to extractive technology. National technology, national insurance. We need to rebuild institutions and find common grounds for peaceful demo development with aggressive strategic aggressive strategy for economic plan success, landmark reform that empowers us. We need to empower our nation to build up our nation. That's why I'm here to make a, a different example. One man making an example in the world. That's what I'm doing here. We get, we cannot do it for us, the second richest man in the country, Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, and the director of, of Amazon cannot do it for us. I'm bigger than Big Gates and now I'm bigger than Jeff Bezos and nicer than Big Gates and Jeff Bezos because they will not do it for us. I want to do it for Africa. We have formed the Africa International Criminal Court because we have no right to allow the white man from Europe to invite our leaders from Africa in Europe. It's a no no procedure. Why do we allow the white man to, to take advantage of us? We must build up our nation, we must build up our country. Insurgents cannot be killing people in Nigeria. Those insurgents must be arrested and killed. When an insurgent kills people, first degree murder, that is murder. Because illiteracy now, with illiteracy we, 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 we committed a crime and not knowing that we are committing crime anymore. If you kill a human being, that is murder, you need to be indicted. The killer with kidnapping, the foreign investors is out of our nation. We need white people to invest with us. As we are doing bribery and corruption, then the white man will not know how to work with us again. We must build our country. We cannot be suffering into poverty. Scraping the dogs. When we are supposed to build our country, we are not supposed to do that. Election, free and fair election. Before the election, during the election, and after the vote are counted, there must be free and fair election. Computerized election. Where there will be peace, there should not be. If you fight religious fight, it's religious crime. If you fight with tribal fight, it's tribal crime. We are committing crimes. So we must build our country up with the power that God has given us. The white man from Europe is nothing. And the Chinese man is nothing. We need to build our country up. And make sure we tell the white people to get out. And we use our own power to be intelligent to build up our own nation. We have the strength, we have the natural resources. Africa is the richest continent in the world when it comes to natural resources and natural human resources. There must be peace in Nigeria where every Boko Haram should be eradicated and all its leaders killed. There must be peace in Somalia, Al Shabaab eradicated, all the leaders killed. Any terrorist organization have no right to come to Africa. Africa is a peaceful nation. We want to build it up. That's why I'm setting a standard now. As the Emperor of Africa, the Antony General of Africa, and the Archbishop of Africa, Archbishop Prince Mike Johnson. 900, 800,000 people died in Rwanda in 1994 during the genocide. 300,000 children killed in Rwanda during the genocide. Uh, in Sierra Leone, more than 200,000 people were killed during the Sierra Leone War in 1994, 1995. In Sierra Leone, Liberia, should not be doing that. Very soon I'll be in Africa. 
where we change the name African Union to United States of Africa. It's a better name. That makes me a better man. If President Barack Obama was here, he would have told you that it's a better name, makes me a better man. We're supposed to know that the United States of Africa is a better name than the African Union. It's a better name. We need to modify our name and modify our nation. Obama would have told me I shouldn't ask him anything about Africa again because we're supposed to know that the United States of Africa is a better name, which makes me a better man. We're arguing the truth. I tell the white man to go straight to hell and the Chinese. They are stealing from us. China making military base in, in having a military base in Sudan, 2009. Collecting our natural resources. When you don't know, can build plane. Solar energy can give us light for life. And our, uh, and our agriculture is the best in the world. That's why I want to help to build. Because I'm really disappointed in all the leaders of Africa. All of them failed. They must be democracy. Yeah, from the African Democratic Congress. Where the leader, president of Cameroon will be, will be ousted very soon. Because he has no right to be president for fifth term. President of Burundi will be ousted. President of Kurdistan will be ousted. President Abdul Fattah Sisi will be ousted. The president of Egypt is Mosul. The most democracy in Africa, President Yedema uh, uh, of Togo, will be ousted. Your quality will come in. If you are going to Libya, you want to kill yourself from Nigeria. What are you going to do in Libya? There's no war. There is war in Libya now. If you go to Libya, you want to die. You want to lose your life, then you go to Libya from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Eritrea. When there's no government in Libya, Libya is a war zone now with ISIS and Al Qaeda. They are all there. Killing people, raping our guests, making people lame and blinding people's eyes, killing. Africa is a shame now. That's why I want to help to build. Africa is a shame now. We refuse to build the country, we refuse to give our people, people food to eat or, or water to drink. Yes, we can. We, we can do it. If we don't build the country, our children will be in the, on, 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 on a backdrop. We are creeping the dogs. Well, we are supposed to be our nation. We cannot give people social benefit. If I go to my country in Africa, they cannot give me a job, they cannot give me social benefit. The government does not even care if I'm existing. Is that not a shame now? Big shame when we can do it with the right people in government, people who want to help, people who are educated, people who want to change the country course. We need more institutions than leadership. Because insurgents cannot be killing people in Nigeria as if killing is normal. When the Inspector General of Police is supposed to make sure there are more million officers in Nigeria. If I was the Inspector General of Police in Nigeria, I would have formed one million officers. If I was the Minister of Defense in Nigeria, I would have killed Abubakar Shikau. And all those insurgents would be killed though. Boko Haram would not be there, I wish I was the Minister of... of I wish I was the uh, Attorney General of Nigeria. All those insurgents will be killed. And when you kill a, a human being, you will be killed too. Because you have no right to kill anybody. Nobody has the right to kill nobody. If I'm the Minister of Defense, the, Earth, the best hospital will be in the nations. The Minister of Education, I will bring the curriculum of Cambridge and Oxford education to Nigeria. Your school will not be on strike. People, workers must have their minimum loan. We must live a life. We have our People will have future in their own country. Our people must have future in their own country. The government have no right to make the citizens not to have future in its own nation. Graduates are graduating every day. If there's no job, there will be fighting, there will be war, there will be killing. There are more than 100 million people who have no job in Nigeria. More than 100 million people did not vote in the last election of 2019 in Nigeria. That is a shame of the election. We have more than 100 million people did not vote. So we must make sure we did do uh, Yeah, I formed the African Special Operational Command for peace in the nation. Free military from the African Operational Command that will slap the terrorists to the ground and make sure the terrorists is killed. That is how to do it. You have the US Special Operational Command. You have the Navy, the Air Force, Special, First Class Air Force, First Class Navy. With the best of armory. Building up Amory and building up a nation. Our country must build and our people must have future.
That's why I'm here to be a good example now. Right here on Netflix, CNN, African Business title. Let me take a break, I'll be right back. Because we cannot be killing, 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 killing people. When there's killing, the governor cannot make sure there's peace in his state. The local government chairman cannot make sure there's peace in the local government, including the king. We are not killers or thieves. We are good people with good as a responsible mind, as the most responsible and the most disciplined African man of this moment. I'm talking now, right here in form, time, and fortune, man, I say. African man of the year, Af Af Bishop Prince Mike Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Right here on the CNN African business title. Prince, man, of girls! <laughs> right here, I'm talking, there must be peace in Africa. Peace in all over the world. This is my, my best friend in the world, Mr. Kiros. So Kiros, I'm doing a movie for Africa. I'm doing a film for Africa. It's good. So what's your, what's your take on this movie? I do think there will be peace in Africa. This is my friend, is the ambassador of uh, Ethiopia, ambassador to Den Haag. He's a heck, yeah. How are you? So, yeah, but I said, what do you think? Because I want them to become. I hope here yeah, I from the United States of Africa. It's, it's a better name than the African Navy Sea, African Special Operational Command. So that there will be peace in Africa. I'm tired that we are in Europe here, yeah, where we are supposed to be in our country, enjoying life. We are depending on the white man's I am, land. I am in Hari, I really are you going home? Yes. Eh? Maybe I see you later. In your place? Call me, yes. Okay, let me come to your place now. No, no, I'm going now to Maria Hoofen. Okay. And then in half an hour, after one and a half, two hours, I will be home. Oh, yeah, yeah. two hours. Well, call me now. Call me. I have my number. Yeah, wait well on. So we need to build our country. We need to make sure our people have great life. Just look, the white people, they build their country. Everywhere is beautiful. Even on the ground, you have ties. You have ties on the ground. Tram going up and down with lights. We need to build up our, our nation. I make sure our country is, is going on smoothly. Creating job. Ministers are supposed to create job. The ministers, the work of a minister is to create job. And the work of the senator. You must you are a senator, you cannot create job. You are a minister, you cannot create job. You are a governor, you cannot create job. We don't have tram, metro, and train in our nation. Minister of Works and Housing, Minister of Transport, there must be tram, train, and metro. Because not everybody has money to buy car. I make sure all our streets are, are built with drainage, drainage system, and bricks, where water will not be piling up on the street in Nigeria or in Ghana or in, in South Africa. We are piling water on bricks on the streets. When our streets are supposed to be clean. I just look at Europe now. Look at their streets. The food bricks. See, I'm in, Hol in England now, in Holland, in Switzerland. They build their country up. They give their people the best. That is how to do it. But very soon I'll be in Africa where I will change that name, United States of Africa to, uh, to Africa, you know, to United States of Africa. Any insurgent or group of insurgents who kill anybody, those insurgents will be arrested and killed. Because it's terrorism we are doing in Nigeria now. In Taraba State, in Kogi State, in Nadamawa State, in Bonu State, any state. That, is, that insurgent is not a Muslim. It's not a Muslim. Because we are not supposed to be killing. That insurgent is supposed to be killed. It's with the general of police. That is what you are supposed to do as the IG. Because that insurgent have no right to kill anybody, or the, or, or the, or the terrorists. They are supposed to be killed. So that we will build our country with peace. We are not ready to build the nation, we are doing insurgency. We are fighting for land, fighting for religion. All those fights will lead to uh, 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 terrorism. Uh, yeah, from the African farming, feeding African uh, farming. With my very good friend Jeff Bezos, this richest man in the world, my very good friend Jeff, uh, Jeff Bezos, and uh, BK, the second richest man, we formed together feeding Africa project where every African man must have a farm to feed. Don't you eat the food, Minister of Defense? What about you, Minister of Finance? Don't you eat the food? 
Now what are you saying now? When we all eat the stupid fish and the smelly food. African feeding African project. Feeding African project. With Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, the director of Amazon and CEO. Big Gates. CEO of Microsoft. And Prince Mike Johnson African Initiative Congress. Where I want all the countries in Africa to become global power. You are a president of Africa, you cannot make your country a global power. If I was an African president, my nation would have been a global power now. For sure, my country would have been global power with technology and tell the white man to get out of the Chinese man and build our nation. What are we doing? We have the best soil in the world for agriculture. We cannot feed our people. When plantain and even coconut can be made uh, 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 powder, can be powdered. We need to build our country up. We are just weak and foolish. I'm sorry to say, we cannot be silly and foolish. When we have all the natural resources that make China become global power with our natural resources, Europe are feeding with our natural resources. Then why are we hungry? That's why I want to have the, the, the emperor. If I'm the emperor of Africa, no Al Qaeda will be. I will kill all the guys from Al Qaeda in Africa. If I become the emperor, all those guys from Somalia, Boko Haram, they will be killed. All of them, including their leaders. I will finish the life of all the guys from Ashaba. If I become the emperor of Africa, Africa will be peaceful. Then why Sahara Desert to be a nation? I want to be the president of Sahara Nation. Sahara Desert can be built as a nation. Don't go to Libya. If you are going to Libya, you are going to kill yourself. Because there's nothing in Libya now. If you go there as a woman, you will be raped, killed, sold as slavery. You are still doing slavery in Libya, 2019. It's a shame. I'm a complete disgrace to the African people doing slave trade. In 2019-2020. We need to build up Africa up. And make sure as we are building Africa up, we are considering the fact that we, are, we need to work together with the white people with peace. Because this is my, the third season of this my movie now on Netflix. This movie is worth more than 20 billion dollars. Because I'm talking about how to make all the countries of Africa global power. Our, our government, they don't know how to make Africa global power. A president, look, Trump. I'm in London now, in Holland, in Switzerland. Trump with electric. We cannot give our people stable light. It's a shame. We cannot give our people minimum law. We cannot make sure that our people have the best education so that the white man will still respect us. They must respect us. We have the best. Blockchain, Bitcoin is from Africa. Cryptocurrencies, crypto customers. Finance, the mechanics of financing. Africa have the best financial trade model in the world. What are we doing now? With the thief, they steal, they kill. You are the governor of a state in Nigeria. You cannot make sure there is peace in, the, in your state. So I have to take a break now. I formed the Africa fishery. Fish. Don't you eat the fish, Minister of Defense? What about you, Minister of Agriculture? Don't you eat the fish? Fisheries, dirty fish we all eat. We refuse to give our people the fish to eat. When African waters is crossing the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, we need to build up Africa up. As a true man of the African origin, that is why I'm here, and as a Pan-Africanist, to build it up. From the African United uh, uh, Front, African Multinational Development Front, African National Assembly Congress, the United States of Africa, Africa uh, History, Africa uh, uh, Special Operational Command, Africa International Criminal Court. I formed more than five or Africa Space Agency, for Africa Bitcoin Solution, Africa Union Solution, Africa Cobalt Solution. All our national resources is a solution that is consolidated. It's bigger than restitution. We must use what we have. Oh. That's why I'm here now, doing this movie. We must use what we have to get what we want. Right here, in Prince Mike Johnson, so in, in, in Amsterdam, in New York, in Den Haag. I'll be right back for the circumstances of this movie. Archbishop Prince Mike Johnson, show. With this movie, Archbishop 
is a great man. He wants all the countries of Africa to become global power and to help to build. What a great man with great insight and great power. All this country, he wants to help them. We can do it with, with algorithms and natural resources management. We can be global powers. And all our island becoming global nation. That's why I want to help Africa to build now. I'll be right back. Let me take a break now. Archbishop Prince by Chelsea. The Emperor of Africa, the Attorney General of Africa, and the Archbishop of Africa, right here on the CNN African Business Startup. <laughs>